Welcome everybody. Let's begin. I had everything planned. Kenny and I went through everything and I wrote it all up. And then I realized today from the computer, today is, and let me read it correctly. Today is the Holocaust Memorial Day, Days of Remembrance. And since that really affects me, the other things that I was going to speak about today, we're going to move until next week. We have it all planned. Put them on the back burner. And I'd like to begin with this, because personally, my life was very impacted by the Holocaust. All of you already know, at least most of you already know, that I was eight years old when Hitler came to Vienna, Austria, the city of my birth. Am I loud enough? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you're great. Can they hear me? Okay. Yep. Okay. And the world changed. And because I was eight years old, I had a solution. I was told I'm not allowed to go to school anymore because people were afraid of having Jewish children near Christian children because we would corrupt them. And also, I was told by my family, you can't go out to the park, you can't go outside because people will hurt you. And I knew at that moment they were wrong because people had always liked me. And I guess they were only nasty to other people because they didn't know them. And I was determined that I would start learning to draw real people, make them look exactly like who they looked like because then people would know them and nobody would ever want to hurt them once they knew them. And somehow that knowledge of an eight-year-old affected me so deeply that to this day, this is all I do. Everyone I've painted, including the people in this painting, are people I know very well. Okay, so let me go further. I'm troubled nowadays because the news are always bad, and yet the world is still the same world. If it's bad in some areas, it's wonderful in others. And that perhaps my job isn't done by simply doing people. Maybe my job is done if I convince people not to only look for the wrongs, and at least notice the wonderful things. And how do you begin? I do begin at home in my own way. Whenever a friend comes who only talks about how terrible the world is today, I manage to shift the subject. We had a friend who came quite often and Eric and I really enjoyed her. And then we began to notice when she came, she would only speak about people whom she didn't like constantly. And Eric would excuse himself and he would go upstairs and not come back until she was gone. And I thought, I can't do that. But on the other hand, I can't really tell people I don't like to talk to you because you make me a part of being poisonous and I don't want to poison people. And so very slowly I learned tricks of changing a subject and I do that. I would like to show you a book that is so wonderful. It's all the way to your left. To the left. And I'm looking to, there you go, thank you. The 
the first person who interviewed me, who let me speak about this. By the way, he's right over here in front. Should I turn the picture here? Nope. Show me where. Right here in front on the table. Oh, okay. Let me move. In the brown jacket. Oh, okay. What's his name? I, why don't I tip the nope. picture? Nope. It's okay. perfect. His name is Dr. Schrand, Joseph Schrand. Okay. And he asked me questions in such a wonderful way that I spoke of things that I had been afraid to speak of. And I told him what happened when the Nazis took my father away. And I told him it was a Nazi soldier who rescued him and therefore us. And I began to realize, how do you counteract the wrong that we keep noticing because we're told it day by day. The moment we wake up, the news go on. And they don't tell us of things that people are doing which are wonderful. The long list of negativity. And I figured my job to do these 93 paintings is going to be number 93 of my world and only speak of the people who don't see the wonderful parts. And so therefore, that's what I'm going to be doing. Next week I'll talk about the other things, but I would love comments. And I would love to, when should I begin painting? Because I know you want to see that. Whenever makes you happy. Do you want me to read the few comments we have so far? Everybody's so engrossed in what you're saying that nobody's commenting. Um, Ed's here. He says, hi, Hetty and Dory. And Janine says, hi, Hetty and Dory. I, I feel like I'm a star like you. You are. You Carol are. Hodkins says, hi, Hetty and Dory. And Ken Page says, your sound is perfect. No worries. And Phyllis Cooper says, hi, Hetty. And John says, hi, Dory. Hi, Hetty. Hugs from California. So... Oh, yeah. wonderful. I'm okay. sure if people have opinions, okay. they should certainly say something. Okay. What I want to do is this. First of all, I knew, and Eric is up here. This is Eric with the dog. Yes, I, I've seen Okay. Him. When I came to America, like we, we see... Sign. My Holocaust experience was that we got tickets from Panama visas and we were able to go and escape. Let me just go back a little bit. When they took my father, again it proves a point that there's a negative and a positive to everything. And the universe gives us choices. Absolutely. And what we have to do is to pick the choice that we believe in. And my choice is that I have to keep on telling you, stop your prejudice. Stop hating people. It begins normally when you're an infant. Everything is out of your hands. You're dependent upon everything. If you're lucky and the people feeding you are kind, then you have a good view of humanity. If they're not, it takes a long while of being with other people before you begin to make the choice and say, I don't want to be like this one. I don't want to be like that one. And that's what I want to discuss with you. And Kenny says you should read your poetry from when you were a teen at some point. Okay. Okay. I said to Kenny what, what, <laughs> I, was, what I was saying to you. And he said, but mom, remember when all you saw was the negative And you even wrote a letter 
to John Hershey. And I also know I wrote to many people. I wrote to Eleanor Roosevelt, who in my mind was one of the people who made a better world. And I have her answer, and I put it in a safe deposit because it's so special. Of course. And I had, I wrote to so many people and got their letters asking them to not lose courage because to trying to be positive when everybody tells you how awful the world is is quite difficult. I'm so hard. Okay? Now, let me go further. When, when my brother Richie took me to school every morning in an apartment building right around the corner, which we always had to pass, there were two girls and sometimes three. One might have been the mother who always waved at us and we waved back at them. And one of them had a boyfriend who was in a Nazi uniform. And when the soldiers began to go from door to door, and break the doors down and bring the men of the family out because they figured if they catch the man, the rest of the family is lost anyway. There'd be no protection. And he called her boyfriend and she said, go into that building, look for the first broken doors, go in and say, don't be afraid of me. I'm the one, I'm the fiance or the boyfriend of the girls who always wave at your children when they go to school and give me your husband's name and what he looks like and bring him back and they did that and part of the reason why it took so long for me to get rid of the basic fear that I carry is I still remember the sound of their boots my mother quickly took Richie and me and put us into the closet. But we heard their footsteps and they took my father. And the two soldiers, the boyfriend and his friend, went from group to group and asked for Jacob Kelman. And when they finally came to the correct group, my father said, that's me. They come with me and they walked him all night until it was too dark to be noticed and they took him to the apartment of one of the friends and in the morning my father came home and I need you to know the enemy is not everybody and that it's up to you. Want some water? I, I brought my water, I think. No, that's turpentine. Right. My water, I put it... In a cup? Thank you. Dory, you're the best. Thank you. Oh, don't make Kenny jealous. <laughs> <coughs> water is wonderful. Mm. I'll keep it here. Sure. Okay. Okay. And we tend to do that. All Germans were not Nazis. Some Germans rescued my family. And my job isn't done until I have you label people, have you stop labeling people people as good or bad. We're all mixtures. And for me, the greatest joy is that wonderful James what? Webb. Webb. Weber. No. Webb. James Webb. James Webb. The telescope. 
because it says that things are visible only when we point them out. Because who knew that planets which died vast amounts of billions of years ago can be shown on a television screen. So there are miracles that I'm waiting for. Perhaps who will say, since we're all made of so many ingredients, let's pick the ones that work best and use them for ourselves. Okay? Now, yes. any comments? Um, no, I think you've got everybody very, very profoundly thinking, and so they're not saying anything, but they're Good. more than welcome to. And no, Ken was the last one, said you should read your poetry from when you were a teen. Oh, okay. They're all, they're all profoundly immersed in their thoughts. Okay, I had shown my kids because they were saying you can't see only good in people. And I said, when I was a teenager, I was so frightened of everybody. And I used to imagine, what if they had caught me? They being the visible parts of the Nazi world, which we had just escaped from in Panama. And what Kenny is thinking of is a poem I had written as if I would be killed, being killed and how I hated them. And I realized we all carry hate in us and that the hate is really fear. And when we are children, I want to go back to that topic, when we are children and we are dependent, we're always afraid. And we can't protect other people because we're so afraid of being hurt ourselves. Okay? Okay. Why don't I start painting? You do that. Okay. It's almost 7.20 and that'll give you at least 10 minutes to paint. Okay. And everybody loves watching you then do that. Should I turn this? In? No, I will turn the Okay, camera. wonderful. You okay. Do your thing and I will follow you. Okay. And That's what a good cameraman does, right, Dina? Exactly. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me begin with one important thing which I promised Dina. Okay. And I can't do much now, but I can begin right now of making her jacket blue. Okay. I don't think she's here, but I can't tell. I can't tell who's here. <laughs> I can see that there are eight That's people. okay. Because you, Dory, are going to do a YouTube on this. That's right. And I will send it and to And then you. I am able to be seen correctly. Oh, she's wearing green right now. Yeah, I needed green there, but... You see over here? John's friend, Wyatt. Yeah, wonderful John, who is the one who did the film, mm -hmm. which you're going to see. But not today. He's going to be allowed. I asked him if I will give him green. Probably stripes or something. So the Italian man is going to be Irish. Because his name's Terracuso. Yes. So he'll, be some, he'll have some Irish. Yeah, because as an artist, first of all, he would love Dina to begin with. So he would forgive it. They're probably not that far apart. They're both in California, right? <laughs> And yep. Marcia said, thank you, Hetty. I'm mesmerized by your words. See that? I told you they were all just really profoundly reflecting on them. <laughs> Listen, you're very profound. Okay. Can you see my Dina here? Yes, we certainly can. I'll get a little closer. Yeah. And I want it to be exactly like the jacket where she wants... And always afterwards, make Eric and me. Oh, that she used to wear to your store? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she used to bring us fruit 
healthy food. <laughs> and she tried to teach me roller skating. Oh, gosh. And I was a coward. And I was afraid of falling. By the way, Gina... Gina? No, Dina was... Oh. Was a stunt woman once. Oh, I think I read that. Yeah. She was not afraid of falling. Well, you're not afraid of falling until you break something. <laughs> Even if she broke something, she would still not be afraid. Oh, no, thank you. She couldn't teach me because I was afraid of everything. Well, this is so much fun. <laughs> okay. By the way, yes. Dina is an incredible photographer. Mm -hmm. And so brave. She carries cameras which are three times her height and size. So she must be very strong too. She is that. Okay, this is the first layer, but there'll be more mm -hmm. until they get the perfect blue. What's the white square? <laughs> What's the white square? On her it's gonna, she, she's going to have a label. Oh, okay, because like I have one from work. <laughs> but I don't have to go back to work today. I'm so excited. But... And now you're going to make... What color is Jess? Yeah, gonna because be? Jess is too dark. Oh. And for that corner. All of this is going to be beautiful one day. It's beautiful now. You're just making it more beautiful. <laughs> and the wonderful thing is that, and there I have to thank Eddie for it. I said, I can't have everybody smiling because that doesn't feel right. And he said, Hetty, the city is celebrating. Right. It's their 100 year. You can get away with it. That's true. And, and so, what? Carol says, I love watching your magic. And Ed says, it's so good to see you be able to paint again, Hetty. Yes. And Kenny watched me on YouTube. And he noticed that my hand only shakes if I'm not directly in front of it. Mm. So I'm just going to keep moving that canvas over and over. And I will call John and ask if he has ever worn a striped green shirt. Well, maybe he'll answer you. He's here. Okay, John. Yo, John. <laughs> Can you ask him? You're asking him. You have the microphone. Oh, I do. John, can you hear me? Well, he's not texting yet. No. So he'll, he'll get around to it eventually. No, I'll call him later on. And, 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 oh, it's going to be beautiful. We're going to get away with it. Yeah. We're changing her jacket. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Yeah. She has her favorite blue jacket. We have no choice. That's right. So it's cool that everybody can watch you up close and personal like the people used to watch you in the street. I miss that. Now I, now I have it. Yeah. And yeah. I'm zoomed in so they can see very like small pieces of what <laughs> you're painting. See, now I'm having the fun of shading things. And oh, John says, I don't think I ever had a striped green shirt, Hetty, but I'm in your world now, so have at it, basically. He's do I give him do I give artistic him artistic license? Okay. Then I think stripes are gonna be a must. 
But actually, John, do you have any shirt that you really love that I could make green? Because I could love something on your chest which has writing. I could use some writing there. Hmm. That girl has a, a gold circle on her shirt. Kenny says the sounds are wildly repeating. It must be having something to do with his... Um, I'll think about it. Yeah. Maybe his, his re, he's got reverb. Let's do something else. 727, so you pick. Okay. 727, which means three minutes more. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then let me just explain something, okay? Yes. What I had intended to do was, and I'll do that next week when you come, when we do this. Next week, I'm going to start putting people in here. Oh. Because... More people. The blonde lady yeah, and the but not, man. But fat people, thin people, young people, old people. Okay, not the real ones. These are my resemblances. Right. Over here, I'll see a lot of rear ends. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of tuchuses. And children, because that's the boardwalk. And... Kina's here. She says, love you, Hetty. <laughs> Kina. Wonderful. Kina, can I show you her? Yes, she's back there by Eric. Yes. She says, you're too funny. <laughs> there she is right there with her husband I'm waiting for Kina to be able to visit around here again yeah, and come to me in May. are you really coming in May? I don't know I thought that's what she said oh I would love it I would. this is Kina yes I just and showed her she's back there by Eric and her yeah, brother and her husband but I have to tell you this story sure because you know all of you that my main joy of painting was yeah, she said the Lower planning. East Side. Uh -huh. She said she's planning to be here in May, next month. Yeah, I'd love it. And because I spoke of Orchard and Nancy, she saw that and connected with me. And it was like discovering a gift of such proportions. We became family immediately. And the world gave you that connection that you needed. Yes, yes. And I want to speak to you and ask if publicly I could speak about what tied us together with Eric. Okay? And, and I love you all. And I, I'm so glad. How come we only do a half an hour? Are you too tired after 30 minutes? No, I think that's the only time I have. You can have as long as you want. You, you know why she says that? Why? Because she does YouTube. No. And she knows everything. No, but you well, do we, longer. We couldn't, we, we couldn't today, but... No, but maybe in the future, down the road, you can see, give a census. At least 15 minutes more. Yeah, that's where you get everything in. Oh, how wonderful. See, it pays to have a friend in court. And that's her. <laughs> I'm the kangaroo court. Yeah. Oh, and then, so Phyllis says, always a pleasure to watch you. And you really got people thinking. Hardly anybody said a lot of stuff today. Um, oh, John says, I have an idea and we'll send you something. Good. You okay. know why? Let me explain. I'm doing a world which is supposed to tell the future who we are at this time. And I have to put tattoos on some people. I have to put big earrings on some people. Oh, yeah. I've got to do everything that is part of my culture here. Mm -hmm. Okay? The world you want to exist. The world you want to exist. Yes. Okay, time to go. Any comments that, that are still... Phyllis says, it's always a pleasure to watch you. And that was the last one. Thank you. I love you all.